day to you all in this video we are going to watch at the current that is flowing in our earth ground connection over here so in the circuit between those um, capacitor charging over here now the 10 microfarad capacitors don't charge up um, under normal circumstances i cannot measure it because the moment i place my uh, metering device over here i uh, create a resistance and um, they got charged up to uh, 200 volts um, but then i could see it when i make a shortcut that we have a spark but when i just switch off after the charging then you will see i don't we don't have a spark so it's only when the meter is across there so there we, we have the meter i'm going to start the scope and the power supply so you can see that we have three milliamps the moment we start with the measurement so that is the current flowing over here so the polarity is plus minus while the polarity over here is minus plus you can see we have two milliamps already and we are at this stage so we see that the current goes down So now when I uh, switch off the power supply and I make a shortcut over here, we don't see a spark. The moment when we add a meter, don't have voltage I guess I made a mistake uh, with my connection previously because the <laughs> suddenly I had voltage when I connected my meter so I'm going to start up again stop it and then measure it as you can see there is no charge and then going to wait a little longer so as you can see already we are down to 0 0.8 milliamps going to stop measure as you can see, no voltage. And when I discharge one capacitor, um, my resistor. Um, I'm going to discharge. So there are now two capacitors charged. I will discharge only one. I'm going to look at the current. And that's the strange thing. So even with only one capacitor, I have that same three milliamps. Of course, we have now a sharper edge, but, but is because we are now only have to charge uh, 200 microfarad instead of the 600.
but you could see that we directly start with the three milliamps. And normally, I would expect uh, that I would have uh, less milliamps because these two are charged. So I don't see the exact relationship between the current row over here and the uh, capacitor discharge because these two are charged as you can see over here um, we s you see that I only have one down so it is only 200 microfarad that is not uh, charged but anyhow the 3 milliamp uh, limit is the same even though I only have to charge one branch instead of the three so thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video